You feel me? Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Julia. Um, I'm an artist and um, basically I'm working a lot with performance and installations and also like with a conceptual background. Um, you see this installation, it's called Tudo Bem. It's a Portuguese uh, title because we are in Portugal now. And translated in English, it would mean something like, it's fine, it's okay. And it's dealing with the question, how do I treat myself? Because I made the experience that when we are dealing with different topics in our lives, and we have to make a lot of decisions that can be wrong or bad, we are like judging ourselves so hard. My, I'm, for example, judging myself really hard after making bad decisions. And this is something I have to learn to be kind to myself, to accept the situation, to accept things that are happening in your life. Um, also, if it's your fault, if there's something existing like fault. And so this is what I'm trying to express here and like, but I did some research on this topic. And I was working with the material mostly with clay, but also with some natural, uh, other natural materials you see here. And because I was searching for something that is grounding me, because I'm like dealing at the moment with a lot of um, change, changes in my life, so I needed something that was really grounding me, and so I chose this material, because when you're working with clay, First, it's, it's earth, basically, and um, you work with your hands, you're totally focused on it, and it's really calming you. It's like shutting your brain off totally when you do this. So it's like the perfect, was the perfect material for me in this um, state. And also, it's containing a lot of, like, all the elements, like the four elements, water, fire, air, and earth. So, yeah, that's why I chose this material for this installation here. Um, what you can see here are different shapes and forms, sometimes combined with wood, like driftwood, like you see here, for example. It's driftwood. Um, I went to the beach to, to focus and to, to calm down, relax, and so I, I found these objects. And it, yeah, I had this picture in mind that something is coming out of it and it had some spikes of ceramics and also you always see in the pieces also this blue slime. The slime is something um, which is really important in this work because it can also like maybe you come here you see <laughs> slime in here and dripping off there like everywhere we see a little bit of slime because in yourself, when there's something wants to come out, for example, like a bad habit or a judgment or um, some bad experience you made um, back in your life or your shadow that you don't want to face, then it's hard to let it out. But if you, if you do this, it's kind of healing. And it's also, you should not like, do it in a forced hard way, it's, it can be joyful. So this is why the slime is like something disgusting, but also joyful, you know, like you can really, um, yeah, th these bad things that are coming out of you, you can deal with them in a joyful way and then it's like much more healing. <laughs> this is why I chose the slime. So here, yeah. When you hear it's like also some driftwood and these pieces of ceramics that just flow floating over the wood and stabilize it sometimes. Like here you can see the stabilization. Um, what is also interesting here is the plants. I chose them um, not randomly, <laughs> but they have some meaning. This, for example, is a thistle, and it's standing for power and also for protection. And the clo clover is um, standing for luck, <laughs> but also for trinity. And this one is a really funny story because I 
I had a really, really bad day and I was so confused about my work and about my life and about my past and about my future, like everything. And so I went to the, to the beach, no, not to the beach, I went to like a spot next to the beach in, the, in the, some trees in the woods. And there was one tree that was like calling me because I thought it's so beautiful. And I went there and um, I did Google picture search <laughs> because I didn't know what tree it was. And it came out that it's Acacia confusa like the confused um, acacia like and i was so confused at this time and it was like just calling me and i thought it's so funny and yeah and that oh i have to look at actually because i forgot the yeah i know that that's oh yeah it's the immortality of the soul basically so it's like a really beautiful beautiful meaning and the wild mustard is actually a weed, but it has a superpower, and um, it's it's for a digestion against bacteria, against sore throat. So, but it's actually con considered as a weed. Um, yeah, and you see also like I worked a lot with uh, wild clay, so I went into nature and I picked the wild clay out of the earth, so I made a little cups here and and here little like mushroom like thingies. <laughs> they just flow out of my hands basically. Um, yeah. There you see a piece, um, it's made of white clay and covered with some earth and stones and I tried to rip, rip the surface so it's like cracking cracking surfaces where something where, where the slime is coming out Hi. <laughs> and the picture which is also the picture for the exhibition um, is called to the main and it's like a really soft touch from a dog to on my hand which is like a, a healing healing touch basically you can say this so oh and here you can see a, a series of of tiles on the wall which are basically the same concept with different surfaces um, covered with slime or like um, connecting spots and if you follow me now into the next room You will see here a little installation where a ceramic piece is softly floating over a driftwood and also some slime coming down. I'm just like talking now more formally about the pieces because everything you see here is connected to the whole topic of the exhibition to the vein. So it's not that every piece has an own title, it's just like one big installation basically, right? And here is another room. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no worries. There is um, he, here. I made an installation with sand and wild clay glazed and water. So I filled up some cracks in the ground where the floor is destroyed with sand and um, so the visitors also have to be more conscious more careful when they enter the room but it's just don't worry if you step on the sand it's totally fine i mean it's part of it but it will probably like change the feeling of your foot because it's a different surface and so you will also get more aware and you see in the middle this pot which I made uh, of wild clay from, from the nature and I also covered it with sand. So you can also, you can touch the pieces actually, every piece, but really gentle because, um, so you don't like <laughs> throw it. And then you can feel the sand on the surface. And from above, there is a little, like a water dropping really slowly down. Um, 
I didn't know first how to do this. It was a tryout, and it worked out quite well actually because it's just glazed on one side, so the water was soaked up by the material and slowly dropping from the from the bottom into this pot. And it's also something like meditative. You can watch, wait for the drop while listening to the soundscape. And the soundscape is an 11-minute um, sound. <laughs> And uh, it's basically, it's, it's containing frequencies from Zolfeggio, it's like the heart frequency with 639, I have to check it out, um, the frequency of 639 and the earth frequency of 174 and an alpha beat. So it's a relaxing, calming sound and with a text underneath with a lot of suggestions and things I learned during the past year in Mexico and in Japan and here in Portugal and also in Vienna where I live and it's also from a lot of really wise books and wise persons and from retreats I made and workshops I made and it's a it's also in a funny way actually I did this like in a joyful way and sometimes you Sometimes it's a bit stupid and um, it, it brings a bit of lightness in all these things you have, should do, you have to do to, uh, to get more spiritual, to get more satisfied with your life, to be more open to all these things you want, um, which is really helpful. But if you're like forcing it too much, it probably won't won't have any effect. So I, I made it in a really joyful way to listen to it and to relax on it and to take it easy. And yeah, that's basically everything. Thank you so much for coming. Um, so I will um, now go to Gafar, who will continue with the artist talk. You can follow me. And now I... All good? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I will. Papa, he told me that we have to...